Are you struggling to put together an autumn capsule wardrobe, wondering what to wear for this new hybrid life? Working at home, working in the office, looking after grandkids, socialising? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you four simple steps that you can take to create a capsule wardrobe full of clothes you'll actually want to wear and know how to put them together. So welcome to Beauty by Dares. I'm Dares, I'm an over 60 Brit with a love of makeup, skincare, health and fashion. So let's make a start on our capsule wardrobe. If like me, you're an over 60 woman struggling with what to wear, I've created a template which I found invaluable to create this capsule wardrobe. And what I've done is I've divided the way I live now into four different categories, four types of occasions where I need to get dressed. And they are working from home, working in the office, going out in the daytime or the nighttime and socialising and going on a date night or for a special occasion. And what I did in that section is I thought about the clothes that I would wear in those situations. So for example, working at home, I'm likely to wear leggings and a jumper, sweater. Working in the office, I'm likely to look a bit smarter, maybe trousers and a shirt and a jacket. For a day or night out with friends, I'm probably going to wear jeans, something a bit more comfortable, but um, a nice sweater and perhaps a jacket. And then for a special occasion or a date night, I'm going to dress up a bit. I'm going to wear something a bit smarter, maybe some heels. So the second stage is to look at what you've actually got. So look at your wardrobe, decide whether the clothes you have will fit the types of situations you've just identified in stage one and consider how you can make them work. Then we go on to stage three, and that's where we look at what is missing in order to be able to wear the clothes that you've actually got in the right combination to fit the occasions that you're trying to curate your wardrobe for. And stage four is putting the outfits together. So using the clothes you've already got then possibly bringing in some new clothes in order to create the outfits that you want to have for the four occasions. So I had a really great capsule wardrobe last year. It was very appropriate for the sort of life I was living then, which is basically home-based with a little bit of going out, not really going into the office. But now that I am going into the office more, I definitely need more office-appropriate attire. Now, what I did was I did buy some new pieces, but I also brought in a couple of older pieces, which I hadn't worn for quite some time, certainly um, since the pandemic. And the first piece is this beautiful coat, which my husband bought me, Gosh, it must be 10 years ago now. It was incredibly expensive. He was so generous. And it's a Max Mara coat. It's beautiful cashmere mix. And it's lasted incredibly well, although I have actually just had to repair the lining. I'll show you, not terribly well done, but anyway, it's fine. But it is an absolutely beautiful coat. And I think it's kind of come back into fashion. I think I stopped wearing it partly because it was a bit shoulder paddy here. But that's sort of back in fashion now and it looks really appropriate and I absolutely love it. And the second piece I brought back into my wardrobe is this beautiful Agnes B dress, which again, my husband bought me. He's a very, very good shopper. This he bought me without me being there. The coat, I was there when he bought it. And this is a very beautiful fitted black jersey dress. I absolutely love it. Now, when he bought it for me, I was thinking, oh gosh, it's going to show all my lumps and bumps. But actually, I mean, it kind of does, but it's fine with a pair of tights. But it is beautiful and it's really useful for both the office and for going out in the evening. Now, let me show you my new pieces, which I am really excited about. And the first one is, very surprisingly for me, a belt. And it's a man's belt. What I really liked about this belt is the square buckle. I just think it looks really smart. And so I decided to buy it. And this is a men's, as I say. So I bought, I think, a medium. And by the way, all the details of everything that I bought recently will be down below in the description box and anything I can find that's similar to other things that I show you, some of which are still available, even though I bought them last year. But this is a really lovely belt and I have decided that I can wear a belt even though my waist is big and I think it looks okay and it just gives a little bit more interest to an outfit and I'm really pleased with it. In fact, I'm thinking of getting another one. And the next piece was this bag. Now, normally I wouldn't have gone for green, but it was the only colour available when uh, I went to the Uniqlo website. It might be back in stock. I'll have a look. I think it came in three different colours. But actually, it's a fantastic bag. It weighs absolutely nothing. 
and you get a load of stuff in it, including a notebook. It's really very, very roomy. I can put my glasses in, I can put my uh, notebook in, uh, I can put my phone in, more importantly, and all of the useful things that I need to be able to get out on a regular basis when I'm buying a coffee or whatever. And it's absolutely brilliant. I love it, love it, love it. Now, for the office, I decided I needed some office-appropriate attire. So I went to Zara. So I've got a brown pair and a black pair. They drape really nicely and they're great for work. And actually, these are also great for going out in the evening. So they've been incredibly useful and versatile. And I'm very pleased with them. And they definitely filled a gap. I mean, to be honest, I could have done with just the one pair. They suit my date night slash special occasion wardrobe as well. In my previous autumn fall wardrobe back in 2019, I had some merino wool jumpers from Uniqlo as well, actually. However, they were in an extra small and they fitted me, but they suited the type of outfits I was wearing in those days. And now that we've come through the pandemic and out the other side, I'm still holding on to that comfort element. And rather than a sort of fitted look, I'm going for a more oversized look. And these jumpers are fantastic. So they're exactly the same sort of jumpers that I had before, but in a bigger size. In fact, they're in a medium, so I've gone up two sizes. I like the fact that they're looser, not just because it's comfortable, but I like the look better. I think what's also good about merino wool is it's not too heavy. This is definitely a more autumnal fabric, I would say, the merino wool, because it's not thick. It looks light, it looks cool, and it's very useful for the office. And they're also great for working at home, because at working at home, I tend to look after my top half, what I wear on my bottom half, leggings and slippers but if my top half is looking put together with a merino wool sweater a bit of jewelry some lipstick I look office appropriate even though I'm working at home now the next new item I brought into my wardrobe wasn't particularly for the capsule wardrobe for autumn or for any time I just fell in love with it and it's from other stories and it's this striped jumper here I fell in love with this. I bought it in March of this year, I think. And I also bought a pair of faux leather leggings. Ah! Now these two together definitely play to my rock chick vibe. I've always been a bit of a rock chick, or I like to think I am. And I've loved wearing these two together. Now, another item I bought earlier this year, not especially for my autumn capsule wardrobe, is this beautiful Lily Silk shirt. Now, I've talked about Lily Silk a lot, and I'm sure those of you who watch YouTube know about Lily Silk, because lots and lots of YouTube creators talk about that brand, and that's how I discovered them in the first place. Now, I saw another young YouTuber called Jessica Harumi showcase this shirt, and when I bought it... I thought, gosh, it's very oversized. How am I going to be able to style it? But I have started to learn how to style it, particularly now I'm starting to tuck my shirts in, which I've always been a bit nervous of, particularly, as I say, because of my tongue. But I'm learning to kind of live with it. I'm being a bit Lizzo. I'm going, OK, this is how I look. Accept me for what I am, if you know what I mean. But I'm determined to keep practising with it and find the ways that I think I can style it best. And finally, another Uniqlo find, and it's this I don't know whether you call it a shacket. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about shackets. It probably isn't really a shacket, but it's it's a kind of a light jacket. But I absolutely love it. I love the boxy style. It's great for slinging over anything. If you're at home and you need to pop out to the shops or you could wear it on your day or night out. The categories I would wear this for are if I need to pop out to the shops and I've been working at home, so it looks fine over leggings, or if I'm going on a day out or a night out, let's say to the pub and I wear it with jeans, it's really comfortable, it's lovely and soft, it's quite warm. So I'm really loving this. Now I want to say something about my wardrobe being so neutral. I think it is to do with the fact that I live in London, that the colours around me are quite harsh. They're rusts, they're browns, they're greys, there's a little bit of black, maybe a tiny bit of white and cream, but they are all neutral colours. There, There's no greens, there's no blues, there's no yellows, unless you go to the park, of course. And I think that really does inform the way I feel about colour in the autumn winter. Of course, the rusts are lovely, but we're talking neutrals here. And actually, if you look at YouTube and you look at the YouTubers in the UK, most of them choose neutral colours. And I was thinking about this and reflecting on it yesterday. And I do think it does have something to do with our climate and our environment. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. I really hope that it's shown you how you can create an autumn capsule with ease. Now, you can download my fact sheets from my website. I'll put all the links down below in the description box for you. 
that will help you to create a capsule wardrobe full of clothes that you'll actually want to wear. And leave me a comment below. Does any of this resonate with you? What are the categories that you feel you need a capsule wardrobe for? Or any wardrobe, it doesn't have to be a capsule. I just find a capsule easier because it cuts down on the choices. And there, we have so many choices to make in our lives now that actually, if I've just got a curated wardrobe behind me that I can just go to and pull off some outfits, then I'm a happy bunny. And thank you again so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. And I'll see you on my next video.